a lot of Google's products are born out of internal problems uh, with the company or uh, challenges. Um, they're identified by Google engineers and then they develop a solution for it. And this is um, how the product I'd like to discuss with you today came about called Google Moderator. Um, Google sponsors regular tech talks at their humongous Mountain View campus in California. And um, they're very large gatherings and they bring in a lot of um, popular speakers. And um, at the end they always have a question and answer session. And a few of the engineers were um, uh, frustrated because um, there was never enough time for all the questions that wanted to be asked. And, um, you know, a lot of people wanted the same question to be asked, and it may never um, be asked. And so they spent some time developing a product they um, named Google Moderator. And it's a very simple tool that allows people to submit questions, ideas, or suggestions, and then other people can vote on them, and the one with the most votes rises to the top as the most popular very easy to use and has some great applications for education. Just uh, in Google, I'm going to search for Google Moderator and it'll be the first one there. You will need a Google account to use this um, product um, and very easy to create one. There's a previous podcast in which you can learn how to do that. So this is the front page and um, uh, each um, question or the ability to add questions is called a series and so you can create a series on any topic that you wish. I've actually already created one that we'll look at today called Educator Applications for Google Moderator. We'll just view that one. And this is the front page. One really neat thing about Moderator is that you have the ability to include a short YouTube video explaining the purpose of um, the Moderator. has some great potential uses for the classroom. So please view the ideas posted here, post your own, vote on some, and we'll see the creative ways that uh, this product can be used in an educational setting. So I've created this to take suggestions for how Google Moderator could be used in an educational setting. That's my introduction. And then if we go to view ideas, you can see all of the ideas that are posted, um, mostly from me at this point, but some from other people as well. And then you have a very simple interface where you either click the check mark or the X mark to indicate whether you um, approve or disapprove of the idea, or you can skip it. So you read the idea um, and say yes or no, and then the votes are um, kept track of. And so you can see the, uh, the bar here says how many people liked the idea and how many people did not like the idea. And so the idea is that this can be used over time to determine the most popular idea, the best solution, or the question that the most people have, or the problem that most people have. So there's a lot of um, potential for this in an educational setting. I've posted some here. I can see this being used um, at the end of the semester to um, uh, let students come in and post um, review topics, things that they would really like to review. There's never enough time to review everything, so the most popular idea would rise to the top, and that's what you would start reviewing. One thing um, I will mention about Google Moderator, in order for anyone to use it, you do need a Google account. This is a definite drawback. If your students do not have Google accounts, um, they'll either need to, they'll need to create one in order to use this. If you're a Google app school, that's a little bit easier. Now, it's not difficult to create a Google account. It's free. Your students may already have one, but that is something to keep in mind um, before you use this tool or send your students to use it. This is a live um, moderator. You are welcome to visit this. I've got the URL on the screen um, to add your ideas or to see what other ideas that people have posted, and this will be growing over time. So please check back often to see how you might use Google Moderator in your classroom.